Hello uh, gamers, what we're going to do today is I'm just going to show you how to get your PS3 controller, 6 axis controller working with your PC for Windows 7 32 bit and Windows 7 64 bit. I'm using a PS3 Slim controller um, and I've got it hooked up using the USB cable directly into the the uh, front USB connector. It's best to use it directly into the PC and try not to use it through a hub for this. Okay now there's a few um, videos on YouTube showing you how to do this. Some of them work, some of them don't. I can guarantee you that this one does work. This is the one that I use and it works really well. Alright so the first thing you need to do is you need to go to this website um, www.motionjoy.com slash download now I'm just gonna copy that I'm just gonna paste that into my browser and we're gonna go there okay I'll just enlarge it a little bit for you now when you get to this page um, you're going to need to go to the first section now this is the version that you want. It's version 0.6.0001 signature. You need to get the signature version. Look below that. Um, don't worry about this, only use ID for Bluetooth dongle. Um, now you've got your 32 and your 64 bit versions, okay? It's very important to get the right version for this software. If you get the 32-bit version and you try to install it on the 64-bit, it will not work. And the other way around. You know, sometimes 32-bit versions work with 64-bit, this one doesn't. If you go to get the 32-bit version, the file will have an x86 signed in the title. If you get the Windows 7 one, it will have AMD64 signed. Very important to get the right one. Okay, once you've downloaded that file and you've extracted it, there'll be an EXE in it, you need to go then to the instruction page. Now, this is very important. Don't just install that without reading this first. So, if you look a bit further up, it says Quick Start, Download, Run, Set Up and Follow Instructions. Click on that. You'll be taken through to the next page. Now on this page there are several versions. The one that you have downloaded is version 6. Click on that. You'll come through to the installation page. Now there's quite a bit of reading on this page. You can read through it. I'll go through it quickly with you. There's a first section that's all about digital signing. Now because you've downloaded the signed version you can basically bypass all that. You don't have to worry about it. You'll get down to this section which says get it working USB mode. Now this is the one that you want. Now the first thing you need to do is grab your PS3 um, controller plus your um, USB cord. Plug that into your system. Like I said, do not plug it into a hub. Plug it directly into the machine. Generally on the, on the front USB port. Your controller will be recognized by, the, by Windows, but it won't work. If you go to the controller section, nothing will work. Okay, forget about this Bluetooth adapter business that they go on with in um, section two and three. Go down to ver section four. Now, when you first kick up that um, kick up that EXE, um, you will come to this sort of screen. The button you want to hit is load driver. Now load the driver and you'll find that you'll get text come down the screen like it shows here and eventually you'll come to the end of it where it's where it's completely loaded right once it's loaded you go through to the about page and like it says here you will actually see the software version in that about page if you know that it's correctly installed right once it's installed uh, you need to open up the actual software. Now the actual software is this. Okay. Now like I said once you hit the about page you will see in red here you'll see the driver version showing that means that it's installed. Okay. 
Now if we go back to the quick start, now here's where you need to set up your actual joystick. Okay. Now you can set it up a few different ways. You can set it up as a digital gamepad, which means your D-pad will work but your analog sticks won't work. You can set it up with um, your sticks working. Now if you set it up with your sticks working, it'll be um, analog gamepad 3 is the one that you want to set it up to. Okay, and then press enable. Now this is cool. The vibration actually works. I haven't got a camera here but you can listen to my one. I'll just put it down and let you hear it. So that's the controller vibrating. So your vibration works. Um, now then you go through to game control panel. Now once you go through this is your standard windows panel. You go to properties. Now I'm just going to pick up my joystick. I'm going to show you that, that this is the um, thumb pad working. Okay, I'm pressing all of the D-pad here and it's working. I'm pressing the X button, zero button, plus button, a square button and the triangle and my thumb buttons are all working and it really works well and if you go back now and you set it up just to d-pad without joystick and then you go to game controller panel and you press properties now just your d-pad works I'm rotating my thumb once and they don't work so just the d-pad works plus all my bottles my buttons so it's really good and it definitely works okay now just to show you that it works now once you've done that just minimize that um, window and you'll see that you will have an icon at the bottom of your screen now that shows you that it's actually working and you can open that up to make any adjustments you want you can even customize the um, the buttons um, and set them up in um, in macros and all sorts of things it's really really awesome okay now just to show you that it does actually work I'm gonna rip into um, split second velocity for PC Right, so we're going to actually show the controller working now in uh, split second velocity. Um, for some reason the controller doesn't actually work the menus, you still have to use your arrow keys and your keyboard. So we go to controls, uh, we flip through and there's the joypad being recognized. I've already set it all up, you can configure all your buttons whichever way um, that you want. So we'll go back to a game, just pick anyone. Pick any car. Okay. So the way that I've got it set up is um, the D-pad works all the movement of the car. The triggers work the events. Um, X button is the uh, accelerator, and the zero button or the circle button is the brake. And we're away. Okay, using the D-pad to control. X button accelerating. Nice and responsive. As you can see, feels really nice. Here's the trigger to set that event off. Here's the trigger again. Works really well. The drift works really well. The controller pulls the car back. There's not a lot of dead slack in it. Try to get 
up here and trigger one more thing. Very cool game this. Uh, I'm running this on a um, quad core 9450 uh, uh, GTX 260 SLI, 4GB RAM, and it runs like an absolute dream, maxed out. <laughs> oh, you gotta love a game like this. Good mechanics. Uh, it's amazing how you can go from first to last in this game. Just like well, that just shows you how well the game works. So uh, don't be scared to uh, download it and set it up. You'll be really, really happy. Okay, we'll go back to the tutorial. Okay, that's it. Just a couple of small things. To get the vibration working, you will have to download one extra file. If you go to this web page, www.motionjoy.com slash blog slash show slash 14, you'll actually find the vibration package and you need to download that and install that. Also, um, like when I was in Velocity before I said that the menus wouldn't work that's because I had it set to the wrong uh, controller in some games you'll find if you can't get things to work set it to the Xbox 360 controller emulator and that will actually work the the menus and the vibration and everything works fine then so just something to keep in mind for when you set it up yourself Okay, if you need any help or anything or you've got any questions, just ask me. I'll see if I can help you. And um, have fun gaming, and I'll catch you for another review later. Bye.